Hello everyone. Due to popular demand rather than a live stream, I'm going to do this mailbag as a video again. So let's get into it. A good few packages to get through, but this is the first one. It's grinding bit hardware tool for something. Polishing, I think, is written above gross weight, and apparently it's two euro. So what was in this package is a glass cutter. Um, I plan to make an infinity mirror at some stage and this will be handy for cutting the mirror down so, to size. So, kind of useful. Next on this list is help solder paste and a value of $8. It's a pretty descriptive name. Well, it was well enough packaged anyways, um, took a few, <laughs> a bit to get open. So this is a uh, solder paste for use with my uh, fancy reflow oven. Um, I, I particularly got this set because it came with these squeegees or whatever you want to call them. And I didn't see a huge amount of them that did come with the squeegees. Um, which I thought was kind of strange. Like if you get this on its own, how are you meant to do anything with it? But yeah, so this is solder paste for uh, surface mount soldering. I'm pretty sure it is low enough temperature. I will put the temperature rating somewhere on the screen here. I'll let uh, future Brian worry about that. And uh, yeah, so it's a good lot of it too. So. Hopefully that'll be useful. And actually there's uh, three nozzles, well four, because one's stuck here as well. They came with that kit as well, so handy enough. Next one we have has a description of plastic sheet and a value of two euro. Okay, so this actually came pretty fast. Um, after my last post bag, somebody suggested that uh, the board I had was the wrong, s or the programmer I had was the wrong size for the at tiny, and I bought the one that was the right size. So this has actually come really quick compared to some of the stuff I've been getting. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at how to use this and see if I can figure it out, and then I'll show you. Okay, yeah, so this makes way more sense than the last one I had, and I couldn't figure out how to use. So what you do is, it's spring-loaded, when you press down the springs, these pins expand up and out, and then you can place your at tiny in there, and then when you let go of the spring, it clamps down, and also, which is a big advantage over the last one, is it is the correct dip package to fit inside my programmer. So. I should now be ready to put this shield on uh, on my Uno or Mega board and program some SMD at Tiny's. So I'll link to the video up here about building this programmer. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty nice looking board now, or at least uh, much better than the one that was too small for it. Okay, cool. Next on the list is this EL Products of 421. Okay, cool. So this is the RoboDin breadboards, but they're white. So if you watch my videos or streams, you know that I'm a big fan of the RoboDin breadboards that are uh, see-through. Have one here. Here, um, I find that these are excellent breadboards, and uh, compared to the cheap Chinese ones, but just in general, they're really good. But they don't record on video very well. Um, so I wanted to get some white ones to see were they any better. I'm going to try them out now. So on first inspection, they feel different than the clear ones. The clear ones are definitely a shinier plastic. This is kind of a matte plastic. That's not too bad. 
um, not a big deal either way. But just one thing I notice is that all the holes seem to be clear compared to the cheap Chinese breadboards that you can sometimes get. You can see that there's going to be issues plugging things in, but this looks nice and clear. So I guess the final test is to throw in a board and see what happens. So we're going to try put this Node MCU board in. It's a good one because it has a good lot of pins or whatever. So it is a bit curved, I must say that. Like you can, I think you can even see that there, that it's very curved in fact, but uh, hmm, weird. But uh, let's see how it fits in. So it fit in okay. I didn't have the same kind of things I'd have with a really cheap Chinese breadboard, but it didn't go in as well as on the clear ones. But an improvement, but I'm not sure if it's worth the price difference. If you're not recording anything, I definitely recommend getting the clear ones over these. So that's a bit of a pity, but anyways. Next is not one from China, it's from the UK. Um, I got this off eBay. And I also noticed that my marker wasn't taking out the address very well. I think I saw that in an earlier one too. I'll hopefully edit it out if it's visible. Um, so I just had to do some scratching, but uh, let's see what's in here. So it is a big bag of corks. Um, I needed corks for a project that I was uh, that I'll be working on and. Uh, me or my wife don't drink and I don't think uh, corks in wine bottles are too common anymore anyways but uh, yeah so it's pretty cheap I'll put up the price uh, up there but uh, yeah I could have probably only done with one but uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll find some use for them at some stage okay, cool next is a package described as LED strip by two and has a value of $14 So it's two packs of WS2812B LED strips, which are uh, NeoPixels. So uh, hmm, I've never gotten them in this nice package before, but uh, yeah, so it's five meters of them and it's uh, 60 LEDs per uh, meter, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'll be using these in an upcoming project, so look out for them. Next up is one that's described as two shield modules and has a value of two cent. Cool, so these are uh, ESP32 boards. I will link to which ones they are up there. I think they're the Lolan lights or something. Um, yeah, so I only actually had two ESP32 boards before, so it's handy to get a, another couple, so if I need to use them in projects or whatever, I still have a few spare, so, yep, pretty handy. It's a bit smaller than my other one as well, the Lolan uh, 32 board, which is probably pretty handy for using on breadboards. Probably doesn't have as much pins broken out though, but uh, yeah, should be good fairly big one now. Uh, this is another one that's not actually from China. Uh, judging by the fact that it says post on it, it's possibly even from Ireland. I'm not actually too sure. Let's open it up. So it is a camera from an Xbox 360. And why do I want a camera from an Xbox 360? Well, it's got a really long lead on it. It can be used as a webcam. It's not a great webcam, but it's okay. Um, I'm not sure what its max resolution is, 720. You can adjust the focus using the manually here. Um, and that it was two dollar or two euro 
delivered from uh, CEX, uh, which is a UK company, or it all also operates in Ireland as well, that sells secondhand games and DVDs and stuff. But uh, two euro delivered is pretty good. It's cheaper than I can buy the ribbon cable for a Raspberry Pi camera. Um, so I plan to build a plant monitoring uh, setup with this. And um, yeah, I actually ordered two. I got a dispatch for the other one yesterday, so that should probably be arriving tomorrow. But um, yeah, for two euro delivered, I don't think you can uh, go too far wrong. And the last one is another one from the UK. Um, so this is a phone screen cover for a phone I don't even have. Um, no, the reason I have it is because I'll put a picture up on screen here. Um, I was prototyping out that Raspberry Pi project I was literally just talking about and there was a reflection on the glass that um, that the plants were in and somebody suggested that I should use a polarized uh, lens and I'd be able to see through it and then they further recommended that I could just use a polarized screen cover so I guess I'll probably be cutting out some of this to go on top of that and that should reduce the reflection in the plastic cover of the plant. So yeah, hopefully that'll work out and uh, you'll see it on an upcoming video. I do have one more package and I've had it here for a few weeks now at this stage. Um, and it was actually sent to me by a viewer of the channel. But um, there seems to be so much stuff in here that uh, I think I'm going to save this for its own post bag. So uh, check out for that, I think, next week, I'd say. Okay, that's all I have time for. Um, hopefully you like this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.